I'm Kite Friend from Game and Flames, and today I'm going to show you how to skin and butcher a wild rabbit. Now, this rabbit has already been gutted, it's been split down the middle, and the stomach and the intestines have been pulled out, as you can see. So, what's left in here now is a diaphragm with the lungs and the heart inside. So, first things first, we are going to take off the legs of this rabbit using a sharp cleaver, looking at where you want to cut and not the tip of the knife. Very carefully, chop each leg off just before the feet. So now what we're left with is a rabbit with the head on. I'm going to stretch the neck out so I've got a clean cutting area. And again, with the tip of my cleaver, I'm going to aim down and cut that off. Now there's a thousand ways to skin a rabbit and this is my way. I'm going to pull the skin from the back to loosen it. I'm going to put a small incision, enough to get two fingers on each side, like that. Now I'm going to pull it apart in two pieces, like this. And then I'm just going to tidy it up, taking the top half off here, now the bottom half. And there we have that rabbit, which is now mostly fur off. There's a couple little patches there we'll tidy up in a minute. So the next stage is now to tidy up this carcass. As you can see, we have the, uh, the flanks here that's going to be cut off. So I'll get my small sharp knife and just cut along. Like I said earlier on, I'm going to pierce the diaphragm, open up, put two fingers aside, take out heart and the lungs, as you can see there. Look, look at that, that looks like a reasonably healthy rabbit to me. So I'm going to tidy up the bottom part here. So around the hips you have the bone that goes straight through the middle, leading to the tail. I cut down each side of the tail ever so slightly, pull it back and I twist and pull. That should pull out some of the, the innards there, with all the faeces. So we'll take that out in one go. Now what I do is right in the middle, the hip here, I put my blade central, my palm on and I crunch it down. And this will open it up so I can remove anything else that's inside. Scrape that out to remove all the areas that store all the kind of nasty bacterias and give ourselves a very clean skinned rabbit carcass.